have a shark catch contest. I'm very willing to take off my shark. <laughs> Don't give him that. <laughs> Justin Morgan here with the tail lane and Evan Williams, and today we're going to attempt to eat the universe. Welcome to eat the universe. I feel welcome. Thank you. I'm very curious what's in here. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. It's a furious up in there. I am, man. Magic beans. What do you think in there? It's food. I don't know. What if it's a full turkey in there? Well, that's not. You'd be like, full Thanksgiving's done, everyone. Right. I cooked. This isn't pressure me. I don't think it's free badge personally. It's just me. Okay. Let's get to know each other. By making a dish inspired by the uncanny X-Men. And to do that today, uh, my gracious producers have given me these things, but this is kind of a special episode of the universe. Uh, one of the viewers, also because we really don't know what we're going to make, because that's my mutant power. In 30 minutes, I will incorporate all of these canned ingredients into something edible and comestible. Everything. I've never heard the word comestible. Comestible is a Latin word, like the word, like, oh man, I like the fans just eat. Is it eatable and edible? Yeah. yeah. You're strapping, man. I'm, doing, I'm not bad, dude. No, you're doing great. You're, you're, really, you're doing really well. Okay, so already I'm not enthusiastic about this. It's just a bunch of corn. What's the rest of corn? <laughs> what can you make with seven <laughs> cans of corn? Who's that for? East was born in Illinois. Old Hank McCoy. There's a lot of corn in Illinois. Okay, oh, that no. is <laughs> coconut milk. Who did this? Okay, there's peas and peas and carrots. Now that's a super team up. Okay, there's your 1940s meat. Here. What is that? The bacon? What is that? A can of bacon? That's what we like to call tactical bacon. Yeah, uh, uh, why is that a Swiss roll of bacon? Uh, oh, I shouldn't make that noise. Well, the good news is it's already cooked. That is an ungodly amount of bacon. Since we have 30 minutes on the clock, while I attempt to make something uncanny out of these canned things, tell us about your love for the X-Men. Well, I like Storm. I mean, I'm just, when I was a kid, that was it for me. Yeah, I love Storm. Here. Make it easy and also make it safe. This is, uh, this is my new bottom. I mean, you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks. Tell me about it. why you like Hank McCoy, aka Beast. Fascinating. He's smart, and you know, I didn't know that word earlier. What was it? Call him Messable. Messable. Yeah, Hank McCoy would know him Messable. Four patties. That's why I look up to him. Four patties. Four patties. You know, a lot of uh, superhero teams, like the Uncanny X-Men, you know, they have like complementary powers, right? Right. So, how do you kind of fit into that? Do you guys have complementary powers? Um, I'm a very serious person, Too like serious. by nature. I just I love speeches. I'm a big speech guy. Okay, and, and Mateo has an ability to make fun of me, and it just keeps me from taking myself too seriously. Uh, I mean, it, literally, this is everyone's face when you say, like, hey guys, you want to get some pizza tonight? And everyone starts talking. This is everyone's body language. We got bacon fat. Oh, that's, that's so gorgeous. From the bacon that was already cooked. Yeah, now you're cooking the corn that was scooped up nice. in water. You guys know that stuff, right? It's chocolate hazelnut. Right? Evil mangero and chocolate hazelnut. Would you make even not bring microwave? Right? Yeah, but what did you just put in this? That's just chocolate mushroom cap. We're just making mushroom tea. So the problem with my seven ingredients here is that I have no umami, right? And so umami is your language. <laughs> umami is that like heavy hitting, earthy sort of flavors. And my plan here is to make a spiced ham locomoco. What's a lo locomoco? What? A locomoco is a Hawaiian dish, right? And uh, it uses egg and gravy and generally a, uh, a beef like burger patty. Mm. But I have none of those things. I did print some eggs. So we're gonna make a uh, hazelnut spread, soy, and uh, coconut gravy. So guys, how did you get to be famous comedians that can join you on my show? We met. At, we, I like to ask the questions and just walk away. Then. Tell me how did you meet on the show? I'm listening. We met uh, because we're both comedians and um, we met at an open mic somewhere in the Lower East Side and we just thought each other was funny and so we kept talking and I of course fell in love with his wife talking a lot about the Mexican heritage. This guy's 